Uh, sometimes we do get kids uh, responding in a way that it's quite common that we get a boy yelling out, that's disgusting, um, but then frantically looking around to make sure that his mates have seen this clear indication that he is not. And up to 50% of them say they would not be friends with somebody who was gay or lesbian, and that's quite a high nice statistic. At the end of the hour, after we've spoken to them, many of them change their minds. In fact, 95% of them say they would now attempt to treat an LGBT person better. And that is simply because they've had a chance to listen to us and see us as real people, develop empathy and answer their, you know, the worrying questions that they have at that age. Uh, just to give you a couple of examples of what um, happens in the class. So one of the most touching things that has happened is that while we were, we were filming actually a documentary with Gareth Thomas and he sat and said to the class, what, what is it that you've actually learned um, from this? And there was a girl who'd come out to her entire class during that session and she sat there while the cameras were on her and she, and she said, I, I've realised that sitting at home and hurting myself is not going to change my sexuality. It was a brave admission. And there was another example of a boy who was brought up to me, he was only 12, at the end of a workshop, and the teacher came up and said to me, this boy's got something to say to you. And he looked up at me, he was a bit shy, and he said, my dad told me to cross the street when I see people like you, and I realised today that that's not right and I'm not going to do it anymore. It's quite powerful stuff. I'm about to wrap up, but... Um, I think a lot of you know that Diversity Role Models was, was started after the suicide of Dominic Kraut. Uh, it's uh, the biggest delight um, of tonight for me to have his mother Paola and sister Julia here with us somewhere sulking in the crowd. Um, Paola will hate me for saying this, but she is one of the most beautiful souls that I've ever met. And when the going gets tough, workshops get difficult, the daily grind of running a charity gets difficult, for myself and all the volunteers that make this work, we do that for Roger and Dominic.